Hey guys, what is up? King Razzle here, and today we're going to be playing some Umbrella Corps for multiplayer this week. Uh, I'm not going to be playing Mirror's Edge Catalyst because it doesn't really have a multiplayer mode. It has sort of a multiplayer aspect in the user-created like runs, but it doesn't have a specific mode, so I'm just going to play this. Uh, this actually came out yesterday, and uh, I played a little bit of it. I've actually recorded an episode of this. But the audio was corrupt, of course, so I gotta go back and play through this again. Uh, what we're gonna do is, there's two different kind of game types, at least ranked game types, and that's the only one I've played. I've never played pub Public Match. Uh, okay, so Public Match just has the same game types. Friend Match, I'm assuming, just play with your friends. Uh, I don't have any friends that have this game. But uh, Multiplayer Mission, so there's two, there's two different game types, Ranked Match in Ranked Match. Uh, Multi-Mission, which is... It's a best of five type deal, and you're going to play three different, or you're going to play different rounds. Uh, it could be, I don't know if you guys have played the single player, because the single player also has this kind of thing. It's like collect the briefcase, uh, and then that one, it's kind of like a, I don't know, like you hold the briefcase for points. Then they have the like data collection or something like that where you're collecting like spe specimens specimens from the zombies so they have that and then they have like domination where you just hold a point and then team deathmatch where you just kill people and uh yeah i'm gonna go ahead and select police station typically everybody likes to play kajuju from what i've from what i've played of this game uh i've only played police station once so hopefully i can get it again uh, you can actually... I don't mean to go in that. You can actually customize your character a little bit. Uh, later on, I'm sure you'll see... You can actually get, like, heads of different Resident Evil characters. So, I've seen Leon, and I've seen Chris, I believe it is. I think it's Chris. He looks a little bit different in this. But, uh... I think it's Chris. And I'm not sure how you get those things. Because, if you see right here, my mask... Like, I, I can get different masks... Wow, that one's cool. I like that one. Kind of reminds me of, uh... Reminds me of something. Not... I'm not sure. I'm not sure what exactly it reminds me of. But, uh, yeah, you can get different masks. But I don't have the one... What other one can I use? I, ca I like that one. I think I'm gonna use that one. Uh, but you can get different masks. You just can't get any different... But I, I don't know how they're getting that... That one. Or, like, the different... The different characters. I'm not sure how they're getting that one. Because I, I obviously don't have that option. So I don't know where they're getting that from. But uh, you can get them. I'm not sure. I think it's like... A, I'm assuming it's like a deluxe a deluxe edition. I got the basic edition. This game has no physical, physical release. But I got the basic edition on the PS4 is what I'm playing this on. Okay. So everybody's a higher level than me. This is probably not going to turn out very well for me. Uh... Like I said, I've only played a few missions of this. I've played one of this type of variant where the multi-mission type deal. I've only played one of these. And then I've played probably th three or four games of the other variant. Which is just... It, it reminds me of Search and Destroy, but there's no like m there's no like m mission. There's no objective. That's what I'm thinking. There's no objective for you to do. It is strictly... They don't have just like a regular team deathmatch, which is weird. But uh, there's no objective in that one. The objective is just kill people. So, yeah. Uh, this is... Uh, that little wheel that you saw right there, it's not really that relevant to anything that I can even know. Oh, I've never even played this map. I don't even know what map this is. And grenade! I think he threw one, too. Did I... I don't know if I'm lagging right there or what. Because that was just like a slow interaction where he died and I died. So I don't... I'm not sure what happened right there. But uh, I guess we're playing to... Protector. Maybe there is no team deathmatch. I don't even know what Protector... Oh, no. This is the briefcase one. Okay, so they don't go in the same order every time. I don't know why I was assuming they would. Hopefully that guy runs right into my bomb. I think he did. I'm pretty sure that guy ran right into my bomb. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, that sucks for him. Oh, uh, that would suck. Like a Marty Dumb from Resident or not yeah, Marty Dumb from Resident Evil. Marty Dumb from uh This is a small map. I've no I've never played this map. Pretty sure they just took out my jammer. But uh Yeah, I have no idea what I was saying. I suck at playing and talking at the same time. The uh I've never played this map. I'm assuming I think I think it resembles inside of the Resident Evil 2 police station. I think that's where we are right now. Like I said, I've never played this map. Uh, they do have a single player component where I've played most of the maps. Why are you attacking me? You must be attacking my enemy. Or not my enemy. Am I sucking that bad or... I'm 2 and 4, 2 and 3, 1 and 3. So I guess I'm not terrible... I don't know. I don't really like that map, or that mode very much. I'm not, I don't really like this map very much either. This map's a little bit too small for me. I don't know, we'll see right there. But you see right beside my name, I actually have the uh, Resident Evil 4, what is that called? Los Illuminatus. I have the Los Illuminatus symbol. Which is cool. But anyways, this wheel is really not of any relevance to anything. It kind of just lets your team know where you're going. Not really that helpful, in my opinion. Because technically, or typically, I don't even follow that. Fuck you. Fuck you. I like how zombies spawn in this. If you guys have noticed, zombies, like, come out of the little hole. <laughs> or not the hole, but they come out of, like, this, this goop. And they just kind of, like, crawl out of it. I think it's cool. I like it. I don't have no idea what we're doing right now. I am just killing people. That's probably not the objective. DNA hunter. Okay, I'm supposed to be killing zombies and taking their DNA. <laughs> I was just not doing that at all. Okay, so we are Bravo. We want to kill Alpha. Um, but the objective is to kill zombies and grab their DNA. They drop like these vials. I, I played this, this game type and... Um, Oh, the zombies are going to be coming for me. But I played this game type in solo. Double kill. Not sure who I just double killed, but okay. Uh, but I played this game type in solo. That's the objective. The next... Or oh, I have no idea what I'm thinking right now. <laughs> but that's the objective. Is to kill zombies. Uh, we got to get to 60, which isn't that high. Especially with three of us, if... If my team's actually trying to kill zombies and not the opposing players. It'd kind of work out well if some, if like... Match types, they don't have very many people. I'd love to just take all these guys. <laughs> all that guy's uh, hard work. Hard work and hard kills. I'd love to take them all, but I, only, I think I only got like two. It takes a really long time to spawn back. I'm used to, if I'm playing a multiplayer shooter, I'm typically used to, uh, used to Call of Duty where it's just, like, instantaneous, you come back. Okay, do zombies only spawn up here? I don't know why. So, you, you have this zombie jammer, and the zombie jammer, it will allow you to walk around the zombies un undetected. But if you get shot like once or twice, that zombie jammer goes away. So I'm not sure why that dog attacked me because I hadn't been shot yet. So I should have still had my zombie jammer. I'm not sure. Uh, did I say we're Alpha or did I say we're Bravo? I think we're Bravo. So we should be in a good position right now. Uh, like I said, I'm not positive on that. I can't even find these these uh, players. Die. Really? It's like a delayed reaction for these people. They don't die right on time. They die a few seconds later. I don't know. Okay, but we won that one. So we're playing best of three. Uh, the next one... We have to win two more. Let's see. What else is there? I'm lagging a little bit. This this host must not be very good. And I've ran into a lot of the host not being very good. Because my internet connection is fucking awesome. <laughs> I mean... 
My internet connection is really good. I, I forget what I get. I think it's like... I want to say 100 megs a second, but that seems way too high. I can't remember. I just know my old one sucked terribly, and now I think I was getting like 180... 180 kilobytes a second, which is terrible. That's a download speed. I think I was getting 180 kilobytes a second, which is terrible. But, uh... Yeah, my, my internet now is awesome, so I shouldn't be lagging. Uh, and if I am, fuck. Fuck. <laughs> and if I am, I'm assuming it's the host fault, especially since everybody else is lagging. But anyways, uh, more talking about the game. So, this game does have a single-player aspect. What are we playing? Target Hunter. Okay. I knew that. It just didn't register exactly. Son of a bitch. People love to use that little thing. Like I said, I don't really like this map. This map is really small. Kind of reminds me of, like, Dome or something. But, uh, I have played the single player of this. This game is actually not too bad. Uh, I know it got a lot of flack initially. Got a lot of flack initially for what it was, a Resident Evil game that wasn't horror-related. And, yeah, it definitely deserves that flack because it's not horror-related at all. But, uh, for what it is, it's not too bad. I definitely think the the combat mechanics are a lot tighter than they were in Resident Evil 6. So I'm having a lot more fun with that. But I definitely... I like this game quite a bit. It's not like my favorite Resident Evil game, but it's not too bad. Uh, technically, I guess it's not even a Resident Evil game right now. Because they took out the Resident Evil, they just said, or it's just now Umbrella Corpse. I can't remember if it was always just Umbrella Corpse. I, I feel like it said Resident Evil in the initial, uh, like the initial trailer for it. I did an opinions on like video for this. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. Man, I cannot hit this guy at all. That was terrible. That was an awful aim. Domination. Okay, so we're we're capturing points. I'm going to come down here, and hopefully I can pick this point up. Oh, I feel like I'm going to die. Please don't shoot me. But you can't crawl. You can't crouch. Uh, you saw right there I was crawling. Crawling is weird in this, because you can crawl at pretty much the same speed as you run. Which is just, it's kind of awkward. Okay. But yeah, this game's not too bad. I like the shooting mechanics in it. It works really well. My gun is not suited for that. This is a good gun for this map, though, because this map is small. Wart Thog. I don't... Never even heard of that gun. So we are just crushing them right now. Do they have a full amount of players? Did I not kill him? My god. Getting demolished right now. I'd love to see my score. Okay. So they have a full amount of players. 20 to 4. I'm just killing zombies. Fuck these zombies. They're always around. What am I using? Where did I pick that up at? Did I did I select a different gun? I don't think I did. No, I still have presets on Doberman Pinsir. I could use a different gun. I guess I'll use this one. I'm assuming my gun is kind of maxed out because after level 5, I haven't gone up any at all. So I'm assuming my gun is maxed out. There's a guy coming from the right. Did I? No, he's not dead. Shoot. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm not playing too well on this one. I don't know what it is. The last time I played this game type, I actually got MVP. So I was really proud of that. But of course, I lost the data for that one. Or I lost the, the video was corrupted. But that's the way life is. Let's see. Hold this point. 
I'm not really a big fan of like objective based game types. I'd rather just play team deathmatch and just kill everybody. And this game really doesn't, the storyline for this game doesn't really make, I mean, it makes sense. I just don't really understand it. This whole entire thing is like a testing, a testing ground for Umbrella Corpse. I, I don't really understand it. Because like, you go into these different, you go into these different areas, right? But the areas are, from what I understand, just recreations. I have no idea what we're playing. I just died really fast. Killed by a zombie? I was not. I got shot. Unless that zombie picked up a gun. Respawn match. Okay, so this is Team Deathmatch. I wish they would just split these game types up and allow you to play whatever you want instead of making you play through all five of them. They're all camping in the back. Come on. I'll oh, blow up on him. Blow up on him. Come on. There's no cooking grenades either, so that kind of sucks. Oh, wow. We are getting killed. Five to one. Maybe I like objective-based missions better. Because <laughs> I am sucking right now at this. Let's see. Because they're, they're both, like, hanging out together. Are there three of them? Because I've only seen two, two thus far. Uh, I see gunshots for... There he is. Headshot kill. So I got another kill. I'm assuming they're going to spawn back over here again. Uh, I have no idea where they are. They apparently see me. There's a guy in the corner over there. Three kill streak. So I'm assuming there's no like shooting through walls. Hey, look at that. We're catching up. Down there at the bottom. I don't think I got him. I destroyed his jammer. I don't think I killed him. Shoot. I was on a streak there, too. That was pretty good. <laughs> I was really happy with that until I died. Okay, so... Yeah, this game, it calls back a lot to the uh, the classic Resident Evils. As you can tell right now, we are in this... This uh, match area. And you can actually play in, like, a Resident Evil 4 location. You can play in Resident Evil 5 location with Kijuju. You can play in... In this police station, I guess. Uh, <laughs> but I've never played in this police station before. But you can play outside of the police station, which is pretty cool. That area is a little bit more open. I like that one a little bit better. But, uh... Yeah, they, they have, like... They have Tricell's headquarters. Which was never in the game, to my knowledge. I can't believe there was a guy just right behind me as soon as I spawned in. But, uh... You can play Tricell's headquarters. Yeah, fuck you. You can play Tricell's head headquarters, which was never in the games. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, I can't think of any other locations. There's like an Umbrella Corpse location specific to this game. So that's cool. 14 and 21. <laughs> that's not very good. I guess it's not too bad for being the lowest in this lobby, though. Level 7 while everybody else is in the teens, so, you know. I wouldn't count it as a win, but it was okay. It went okay. Uh, we're going to play... Uh, the one, one kill thing. One shot, one kill, I want to call it, but I know it's not his name. Uh, level eight. Let's go to nine. Yes. I love going up multiple levels. Gray Fox. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Dipperman Pincer. Refuse. Absurd. Okay. You see over there, Tricell Headquarters. Umbrella Labs, I believe, is what the initial location is in the game. But we're going to back out, and I'm going to go into the one one kill round or something. Uh, one life match. I don't know why I can never remember the name of this. 
But uh, we're going to go ahead and do the one life match. So basically the premise of this is if you die one time, you can't come back into the game. So you have to wait to the next round. It's the best of five, just as like the other one. It takes a little, it's a, yeah, it takes a little bit shorter. It's a little bit shorter of a game type. Try sell headquarters. Uh, personally, I'd probably rather play Kijuju. Try sells like a lot of corners and stuff. Okay, so we got a little 23, a level 19, a level 17, and our cap is 17. So I uh, we'll see what happens. I actually saw somebody that was level 43 earlier, which is just freaking ridiculous. I can't even fathom playing this game. You would have to play this game because this game came out yesterday. Okay, and this was this morning that I was actually recording it. So about 9 o'clock in the morning. The game yesterday didn't come out until... I want to say, like, I don't know, noon maybe? Because I tried to I tried to download the game, like, right at midnight. I think I did. I think I tried to do it right at midnight. Even a little bit later than that, I think. Objectives confirmed. I can't remember when I got to download it. Because I tried to download it right at midnight. I couldn't do it. And, son of a bitch, I really need to focus up. This is exactly what happened last time I played this, or like this morning whenever I was trying to record this, was I played that first map, or the, the multi-mission thing, I played that, and then I came into this and I was just fucking all gung-ho trying to kill things, but it doesn't obviously work, because I'm in the mind frame that I have multiple lives, but I only have this one life, so yeah, I'm gonna have to take it, you have to take it a little bit slower in this. This is kind of why I'd like some kind of deathmatch or team deathmatch. Uh, I don't th know that I've ever played a game that didn't have a team deathmatch that was like this. Or like a shooter like this. Why do I have one bar? Like, I don't feel like I'm lagging. I don't know. Anyways, we're going to see what happens. Four, three, two, one. But you saw that one guy took cover real... Real prominently. Hopefully this guy comes through here and I can bust him. Come on. Okay, obviously not. I want to wait out here for a second. And I don't know what those spikes on my map are either. I have no idea how to even get out of cover. Oh my god, I thought that dog was a person. Okay. Need to work on my eyesight. Let's see. Fuck you. Oh, that's pleasant. That is definitely what you want. Come on. Did you just run right by me? See, I knew I was going to die there because I had to kill. There's two of them right in front of me. That guy is like the hacksaw or whatever. Hawk hammer. Okay, you're cute. All right, hang in there. Not over yet. All right, hang in there. It's not over yet. It's probably over. <laughs> we probably lost this one. Two to zero. Oh. Uh, we'll see what happens here. It's not looking very good. I can't really. There's no like change-up method. I just gotta rely on my team a little bit more to do better. I mean, obviously, I'm not doing well. But we can't, obviously, like, die that much. Hopefully they come out this way. If they do, I can get them. Son of a bitch. I'm getting crushed in this game. I hate that. Oh, uh, well. Okay. Well, <laughs> whatever this ends, uh, if we lose right here, hopefully we win. I'm doubting it, though. This guy's the only one left. I have seen it happen before, but I'm doubting it's going to happen here because that guy's already halfway dead. But anyways, uh, whatever this is over, I'm probably going to end the episode. Uh, I will be doing a review on this game. I'm not sure at what point it's going to come out because I do have to beat the solo player. Or I have to beat the single player before I actually do it. Wow, he killed that guy. But uh, you can see him down there at the bottom. The, the like viewer after you die is kind of weird. 
Uh, but I do have to beat the single player. The single player is pretty freaking hard. I'm really... I'm having issues with it. <laughs> I die a lot. I think I went an hour. And I beat three missions. Like, it was a very long time. Wow, this guy may bring it back for us. That'd be great. I'd love to get another chance. I know it wouldn't turn out any different. And I'd probably just die right off the bat. But <laughs> it'd be cool to get another chance. I'm guessing his... His jammer is gone. That's why he's taking damage. Hopefully he can come over here and just knock this guy out real fast. Come on, Den. <laughs> oh my god, he brought it back. Uh, that zombie cleaver is overpowered in my opinion. You move fast with it. Uh, you get like a little shield thing on your left arm. That kind of blocks different attacks. Or your right arm if you're... Depends on which which angle you're looking. But, uh, yeah. I can't believe you brought that back for us. But anyways, <laughs> I forget what I was talking about beforehand. I gotta get back into this. But you can bring that out. I, I don't remember. I don't think I've actually used it yet. I'm not really a big fan of it. Like, it's strong. It's powerful. I just don't really like using it. Keep trying to do that and not. Okay. Let me see here. I basically have to sneak up on them before they can even see me. Because I'm just not that very good. Oh, fuck. I thought he was dead. That's why I kind of stopped. <laughs> on a roll. On a roll of one. <laughs> I would call that a roll. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty hefty roll. Okay, let's see. I hardly ever scope in in this. In single player, I scope in a lot. In this, not so much. Yeah, I see what you're doing. No, get out of freaking cover. God. I do not like cover in this. It's too... Like, weird. I don't know. Oh, I'm the last one left. Son of a bitch. Not good. Not good at all. Oh, I just dropped hardcore. Son of a bitch. Fucking hell's right. Okay, well. I guess I got one. <laughs> oh, cute, buddy. That's real cute. I love that shit. Uh, but anyways, uh, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode right here. Well, I'm going to go back and go into some of the like menu stuff. So let you guys see it a little bit. Uh, but this game is only 30 bucks. So if you're interested in it, it does play. It's very tight, like the controls in it. If you guys played Resident Evil 6, the controls are a little bit, like, loose, I guess. They, in my opinion, you just flail around too much. I, I hated Resident Evil 6's controls. I think they tightened them up a little bit later on with, like, an update. But I'm just not a big fan of them. But these ones are a lot more tight. Uh, you can actually, I don't know, I don't know what it is about it. Like, in Resident Evil 6, you were always flailing your arms around and stuff. This one feels a little bit more tight. Headshots are a little bit more, uh, like, cool. Or, they're more fun to pull off. Okay, so, we have the outfit. I really don't have that much options for it. We have the helmet, don't have much options for it. We have the face mask, I already went through those. I don't know why I stayed on that one. But uh, we also have this jammer. That's where you can see my Los Luminata symbol, which is awesome. And then we have that. We really don't have very many options for stuff. We also have colors. I could change the different colors of different things. Uh, I'm going with the blue vibe, if you can't tell. But you can like change to all these different colors. Uh, obviously, I don't have them all. Kind of just going through all of them right now. But yeah. You have those customization options. I don't know if I want to do this one or this one. I think I'm going to stick with this one. I think that's what I had. Can't remember. Uh, icon. These are just like your presets for your... Like what you want players to do, I guess. I don't really do it very much. The patches. I don't really like the patches on my on my character. I was hoping I could have Los Illuminados patches on like every, every orifice of my character. But you can't. 
unfortunately. You get the Los Illuminados patch for beating the campaign. Uh, but I have the Los Illuminados patch on my back right there, as you saw right there. Or decal, whatever you want to call it. You also have these weapon sets. You can preset. There's a ton of presets. All the way to preset J, which is, <laughs> which is crazy. But, uh, oh, you, there is a higher level than six. Okay, that's cool. But you can have all these different guns. Uh, I really... I really have only played with a Doberman Pinsir. I've played a little bit with the K12 AX. That's the last one I was using. I don't think I've played with this one, but I must have played with it at least somewhat because I have a little bit up on a level. Uh, that's pretty much all I've used. There's a different one in Solo. But you can do sights on this. Uh, as you can see, different sights. Wow, there's level 18. I'm assuming it probably goes up to 20 then. Unless they just have a random 18. But then you have your sidearm as well. And something that's weird is Lightning Hawk. I think it was Lightning Hawk. It's not like a... It's not an excessively powerful magnum like it was in the other games. But yeah, you can also pick color. Uh, I'm going to go through the color right here. But there's different colors you can pick for your gun. Uh, right now mine's blue to match my... To match my character. I don't like that one though. I think I'm gonna go with that one. Uh, you can change your frag grenades to different kinds of grenades. The only one I really like is frag grenades. You can actually use a few of them in the single player. I'll go through the single player here in a second and show off what I've what I've done. I'm not sure. Okay, so that's just a different style. But yeah, that's all that stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the online menu and go back and show you guys the single player menu. The experiment is what it's called. And I've been through all this stuff. There's a lot of missions. Uh, that was the Umbrella Corpse, or like the Umbrella Training Facility, I guess. This is the Tricell Headquarters. Go into Resident Evil 4's location. And Resident Evil 4's location was awesome to see. I loved seeing it with updated visuals. They actually took the models from the Ganados and put it into... Resident Evil 4 is my favorite game of all time. So it was really cool to see it. They like picked up the visuals. Uh, they redid the models. They even had a Plaga in there. Uh, it was kind of like a mini-boss, sort of. But they had a Plaga in there with the Plaga head, and it was awesome. I loved seeing that. And it was really surprising to me because I wasn't expecting it. They also had a... What, what is this called? Magini? I think they're called. They had a Magini in this one. Uh, I don't recognize the head, though. I don't... Like, I know it's similar to one of the heads. It wasn't exactly the same. I don't know. Like, I played Resident Evil 5 quite a bit, but I just didn't re I didn't recognize that head. But anyways, that's where I was, and right now I'm in Resident Evil 2's location. Uh, haven't gotten very far in it. I wonder if we're going to be able to go back to the mansion. That's going to be really cool. I hope, I hope the mansion is in here. We'll see. I'm assuming it is, because it's kind of going back in... Well, it's not really going back in time. Because, like, we went... We went Resident Evil 5, technically, Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil 5, and Resident Evil 2. So I'm not really sure the direction that they're taking this. But anyways, guys, uh, I'm going to go in the, in the episode right here. This game is pretty interesting. I am going to do a full review on it if you guys want to see that. Uh, I'm not I'm not sure when it's going to come out. It should be coming out here soon. Just depends on how long it takes me in this single-player mode because this is a pretty... It's a pretty difficult single player mode. You could just get swarmed so quickly. And in this level in particular. I'm. I feel like I've already played this mission. I know I've already played in the Resident Evil 2 location. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to speculate here. <laughs> but uh, depending on how long this takes me is when the. The single player, because I just need to play a few games of the multiplayer to kind of get a get a feel for it. I've pretty much already got a feel for it, but yeah. However long the single player takes me after that, I'm going to do the review. Hopefully it doesn't take me too much longer. Uh, like I said, the game came out yesterday, but yeah. Uh, if you're wondering why I didn't do Mirror's Edge today, because Mirror's Edge, Mirror's Edge's multiplayer isn't really... It doesn't have more than one player. Like I said, it's just kind of these missions where people set up missions and you can run through them. I also thought about doing J-Stars Victory Plus. Uh, I think that's what it's called. J-Stars Victory Versus Plus because I just bought that. I haven't even played it yet. But uh, I was thinking about doing that. I think the, the plan right now is I have Mirror's Edge this week. 
uh, I did a review that I'm doing this multiplayer because Mirror's Edge's multiplayer isn't really, can't really do much with it. I mean, I could have just recorded races, but I think it would have got boring. But, uh, yeah, Mirror's Edge this week. And then next week is Mighty Number no. 9, which has a multiplayer, I think. From what I understand, that game does have a multiplayer. So that will have a multiplayer episode. And it'll have a review and a game trivia and everything like that. But uh, Mighty Number no. 9 next week. And then the Technomancer, which will be like July 1st, I want to say, is the week. That I'm going to be reviewing it and stuff. Uh, that's not the week that it comes out. It actually comes out on the 28th of June. But the review and stuff will be out on July. Or in July. So, And that game does not have a multiplayer. So I'll probably do J-Stars Victory Plus that week. But anyways guys. Uh, before I ramble on too long about nothing. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and end the episode. Uh, if you guys enjoyed. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. The next video that I'm going to be doing. Will be a game trivia for Mirror's Edge. So if you're interested in that, then stay tuned. And yeah, thank you all for watching this video, and I hope to see you all in the next one.